Hello. Today's lecture is about straight bowing. Straight bowing means that the bow is approximately parallel with the bridge, somewhere between the bridge and the end of the fingerboard. Fingerboard is for the left hand, this little place only is for the bow. Now, um, there's two parts to every bow. The upper half, which is from the middle to the tip, the lower half and middle to the heel. We're going to start with the upper half. So we're going to place the bow. Oh, make sure your viola is not too far to the left. Get it nice in front of you. The more central the instrument is, the less you're going to have to stretch with the right arm. So get used to bringing it in. Don't droop. Stand with the strings approximately horizontal. It'll help the bow not drift. Okay? So because if your instrument's there and you relax, your bow is going to do that. Now, you have a nice sound, yeah? So, um, you were here. Uh, the middle, make your arm in approximately a straight angle, place the bow somewhere in the middle between the bridge and the fingerboard, yeah, like that. Now what I'm going to do is, we're going to go to the tip, so we're going to stretch our arm, but we're going to come forward, yeah? So. Now wait and look in the mirror or ask somebody to help you because you can't see whether you're right. And if it's all right, now we go back to the middle. Yeah. Again, same thing from the middle, straight angle, stretch forward. And come back. So that's the upper half. At the lower half, the wrist will come towards you. It's going to come in front of you. The elbow has to come forward. Make sure when you do the elbow, the elbow doesn't come up. So you want the upper arm to be about the same angle as the bow. You're going to bring it towards you. It stays that way. Avoid that. Yeah. So from the side, it looks approximately like that. Just wait when, it's when you're halfway and try it again. So, look. And bring it towards you. And come back. Now, if it doesn't sound great right now, that's okay. As long as it's straight. The sounding great will come with time and experience. Bowing straight itself Considering you can't see whether you're bowing straight for yourself, you have to just build the habit to bow straight. Um, make sure that your shoulders remain relaxed and your thumb remains relaxed so you can stretch forward and you can move freely. That's the right now the most important part. So we're going to run through an exercise very slowly. It's going to be two beats for a note. We're going to rest for four beats. Each beat is a second long, so we're going to play for two seconds and wait for four seconds. Now, during those four seconds, you have to check in the mirror or ask somebody to check with you whether your bow was straight. If not, make the correction and then we go all the way back. So, every note we're going to play twice. We go from the lowest to the highest string, so from C to A. And when we get there, we go from A all the way back down to C. Um, so each bar has six beats, two beats playing, four beats waiting. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. And wrist in front of you. Now we change strings. Five, six. Make sure it's straight. Six and four, five, change strings. 
four, five, six. Und zwei Strings. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Turn back to the D. Four, five, six. Turn to G. So that was the first playthrough. Now, most important thing was that it was straight or approaching straight that you learned. Stretch forward, and when you come back, elbow goes back, elbow comes forward, and in the meantime, your wrist turns from being hooked, inverted, all the way to the opposite. Yeah, your hand doesn't really change much on top of the bow. Make sure your fingers don't slip so you don't lose control. Make sure your little finger stays nice on top. Your thumb stays nice and round. There is a lecture on how to hold the bow. Have a look at that if you need some help with that. So make sure you work on those things first, then do the straight bowing. Now, next thing is obviously, is it beautiful? Does it sound nice? There's two main things that can go wrong. One of them is when you're too tensed and you press down too hard and you choke the sound. Now, there's two options when you hear this. Either your bow is too close to the fingerboard or over the fingerboard, in which case you do exactly the same. Near, near the bridge, for example, you would have an aggressive sound, but you would have a sound. Yeah, it's not ideal, but in that case, probably you're still pressing too hard. So, relax and try again. It's mainly going to happen in the lower half, this kind of sound, just around where the balance point, you're under the balance point, and the bow becomes heavier towards the tip. So, just place the bow in the middle, relax your thumb, relax your shoulder, make sure your index finger isn't grabbing the bow, just hang it across, and then just gently bring your wrist in front of you. Yeah? The opposite is when there's not enough grip with the string, when it doesn't catch and you get this kind of squeaky. Now, there's two options. Either you're moving too fast, if you go really fast, you get that, or you're too close to the bridge, in which case, either slow down if you're being too fast or change the point of contact, which means where between the bridge and the fingerboard your bow is. So, Make sure you're not too close to the bridge, make sure you're not too fast, and do the exact same thing. Oh yeah, and relax, of course. Then you have your sound. So, I'm going to do all this again. Uh, same exercise, again, four seconds in between, just to give you a second chance to run this through. If your priority remains for now that the bow is straight, when you feel a little bit more comfortable with that, then start paying attention whether it actually sounds nice, yeah? If you can't do the whole bow in two seconds, start slightly smaller and expand if necessary, yeah? There will be plenty of exercises on this coming up, so if it, you still struggle a bit with this, just repeat it a couple of times. Be prepared before you continue, yeah? Do the next exercise, so... Uh, three, four, five, Six. Three, four, five, six. Now rotate to the next string. Six and. Now wrist in front of you. 
change strings, including the upper arm, and stretch forward. Four, five, six. Wrist towards you. And drop your elbow again. This is the first introduction to straight bowing. Um, use a mirror, use a friend, use a parent. Ask for help from anybody that is willing to, to make things better. Yeah, Stay relaxed, never ever tense up in your shoulder or in your thumb. It's all just guide the bow straight. Be light and make it beautiful and straight. Lots of things, but repeat the exercise, you will get there. And I'm coming with more exercises, going all from very slow to much faster. Different speeds, different rhythms, different changes of string. Lots of exciting things to come. So uh, I hope to see you guys again. And in the meantime, good luck with this exercise. Take care. Bye. <laughs>